Okay, so in this KT, we'll talk about JMX, that is Java Management Extension, which is one of the early and significant tools developed specifically for monitoring and managing Java applications. And it is widely used in many Java open sources, whether it be Kafka, Cassandra, Spring Framework, etc. So knowing about JMX becomes crucial when you start exploring monitoring tools. Hence, to get you started with JMX, I'll give you a demo. We'll create a Java application and use JConsole and Prometheus to monitor certain metrics. So let's just get started. What you'll have to do is you, you just have to clone this repo. In this, in this basically, there are two classes, demo service mbean and demo service. To explain, to explain you this, if uh, I just open this class, you can see uh, there is a de uh, demo service implements demo service mbean, which is simply an interface. And there is one metric, which is a counter. And oh, what it does is to, it increments a counter and it, uh, it is used to fetch the counter value, current counter value. Okay, so before going further to it, let me explain the JMX architecture. So JMX architecture basically uh, is a three level architecture. Uh, considering manager level, agent level and instrumentation level. Instrumentation level, which you can see here, is basically refers to, uh, basically refers to JMX resource which are nothing uh, which are simply Java objects which follow a basic name convention with mbean uh, in its name and it has uh, certain attributes functions or at times notifications also depending on how it how it is implemented in our simply case we have uh, attribute that is counter and operations increment counter okay so that is what our mbean does then the since our first part is done that is instrumentation defining our jmx resource we have done it whatever uh, uh, whatever bean or ob java objects you want to manage by this uh, entire architecture you have to define it in form of a mbean once you do that then comes the agent level now what does agent by agent level we mean is Ki there is a mbean server by which you define ki, okay these are the mbeans just register it so that i can manage it so by that we uh, by initializing doing this uh, by using these three lines we simply mean this okay and then the final level comes at manager level now manager level is ki once uh, it's instrumented and your mbeans are registered how to check uh, check that out that's what uh, uh, this manager level means Okay, so let's just get started. I hope you have cloned your, uh, let's clone uh, this uh, KT from KT uh, repo. Once you clone that, there will be a JMX KT folder and there will be two classes, demo service and uh, demo service MB. Okay. And in this, you have defined uh, your MB server and uh, how to basically register your demo bean you have registered your demo bean following all the conventions required and this class is made let's just create a jar file okay uh, before that uh, Okay. Okay. So before that, uh, there is a, we can um, or ma for our initial ma manager, we will use J console. To do that, what we will do is we will simply start a demo service. As you can see, our uh, demo service is running and uh, what we'll do is, we'll simply open a terminal. Okay, and your Java home, so uh, Java home should be there. So if I echo my Java home, you can see uh, Java home is there and it comes with J console, uh, which is used to manage uh, not only JMX but also JVM it you can see JVM related detail as well so just open this it's opening 
and you can check their demo service is there this is the name of your class and started it's there you simply have to connect it let just connect we have no authentication mechanism set up so you can just proceed with an insecure connection and uh, you can check there are certain uh, tabs overview what is the heap memory usage threat uh, classes cpus usage etc memory threats and your m beans are mentioned here some are default java m beans and other is uh, this com dot example is one that you have defined as m bean okay so as you can see <coughs> there is one fun there is attributes that is the counter which uh, we have uh, initialized in the operation and if we click on increment this method will be suc successfully executed and you can check out the attribute value is also changed so any mb uh, any ob java object that is defined as mb you can manage check the values and also make some changes to it depending on whatever you have to do by using uh, this j console okay so if if we just end it our connection will be lost okay so we uh, completed uh, these uh, instrumentation of these three levels we saw a demo of these three levels uh, there was this jmx resource we registered it uh, by using mmin server and then there was this manager which is j console in our case by which we could see ki how we can manage a mbin defined in our uh, repo okay okay so for local uh, testing or local uh, development you can use j console to check out uh, your mb or manage it or check the other details of jvm metrics as well but for production environment or uh, development or sit environment say you you'll have to have another manager so we will use prometheus to monitor that counter metrics which we developed in our demo service class okay so for that first you'll have to download jmx exporter you can follow the link in the document and you will be redirected to jmx exporter what it does basically is it's a it's a java agent which uh, whatever the metrics which are, which are exposed by your local jvm it can expose it to, to a http server and then you can further uh, scrape it and it it will basically convert into a format that is understandable by prometheus okay so that was that is what basically it does it convert into a form and further prometheus can hear it and uh, scrape it and show you uh, the details of the matrix in form of a graph or maybe a table etc okay so we'll run this jmx exporter as <coughs> java as a java agent so to run that to run that you simply have to follow this command and uh, as you can see uh, this is a uh, this is a jar downloaded we uh, this is the jar this is the same jar and this is the port on which you want your metrics to be exposed for prometheus to scrape the config.yml uh, basically refers to whatever the rules you want to configure you have to expose all the m beans or you have to expose only certain m beans certain metrics so that's what you have to configure on config.ml and in th this you can define several patterns uh, and uh, your jar jar basically this is the jar which we will create of our demo service okay so to create the jar uh, this is the command you have to run just copy this command from here and open in your uh, intellij just open a terminal and run sorry okay sorry i have to move to code Okay, so once you have run this command the class file will be created or, or java code will be compiled and class will be created uh, as you can see here the demo service dot class and demo service mb dot class is created now you'll have to just uh, create a jar from that for that you'll have to create a manifest file and you'll have to tell ki where your main class is or uh, main class is main class means ki whether where uh, there's main function is there so in demo service you have main class so that's how you'll have to that's how you'll create a jar and once you run this command a jar will be created as you can see here demo service dot jar okay let's just copy this jar and paste it here 
and open a terminal Uh, in this you can see JMX Prometheus Java agent jar is there and there is this config YML is also present and you can check the the uh, it's already populated with uh, certain details in which you are saying ki any pattern whatever is defined as mean just expose it okay there is no specific restriction imposed and there is uh, this Java agent jar as well and our demo service jar is also present okay so now we have to run this command just copy this from here, replace it with your own path. Okay. And you can ch check uh, or uh, matrix is exposed. You can check that out also. And just copy this. Okay, you can check these are the matrix exposed. Okay, JV matrix is also an asset. You can uh, change this whatever you would like to change to. Uh, if you want to uh, basically want uh, JV memory pool, but you do not want this metric or you want to hide this metric, you can uh, define that configuration in your config.yml. There will be counter also. As you can see, uh, your demo service counter. demo service can counter attribute is also coming okay now what we will do is uh, uh, we will use prometheus or uh, prometheus as manager uh, earlier we used uh, j console now we will use prometheus okay so to, to do, do that just download prometheus from the link given here here okay just download the prometheus and once you have downloaded prometheus uh, just copy this Okay, and uh, open the Prometheus. Let's just uh, duplicate the tab, and this is our Prometheus. We'll go to Prometheus, and uh, there is this Prometheus YML. You can check out, and in this, yeah, this particular uh, thing is pasted. Our metrics are exposed at 8080, and our job name is JMX Exporter. So this job name you can change depending on whatever you want to. And this is the target from which uh, you are instructing Prometheus to scrape for them. Okay, this is done. Now you simply have to start Prometheus. Okay, so once started, what you can do is you can check out Prometheus. This is Prometheus. Prometheus by default is up at 1990 target. As you can see, this is also up. And this by default, uh, there is one endpoint Prometheus. Uh, it uh, scrapes its own metrics as well. And you can check that out of. Uh, so, car, let's check out demo service. Demo service counter. This, this is how. And you can plot a graph, say, of 15 minutes. As you can see, our counter value currently is zero. Now what we can do is let's just use our J console to change it so that we can check that out on the graph as well. Go to mvins and go to that com dot example <coughs> and this that the attribute will be there in the counter and uh, there is an operation increment counter what you can do is just increment okay as soon as you increment you will uh, just reload this from it as well. wait for some time you will check that the, there is the uh, this the change is visible on the prometheus as well it is scraping the matrix and is scraping matrix in like a three seconds or uh, default period whatever the default period of prometheus is just add just execute again maybe execute again okay and you can check the counter value also the current counter value is 3 refresh it it's 3 okay so let's just execute it you can check key earlier it was 0 then it incremented to 1 and then uh, it's now 3 because you simultaneously scrape simultaneously click on that button so 2 is not there uh, 3 and that's how uh, we checked out our JMX metrics on uh, Prometheus. Okay. 
and we'll further go in detail uh, detail of jmx uh, you can down you can follow this uh, we can further go into detail on uh, how jmx uh, is utilized in various open sources uh, with uh, and we i'll give you a demo on how kafka utilizes jmx to export this matrix uh, whether it be send rate uh, or receive rate in the next demo in the next kt stay tuned